If you can, please download the PDF file on the description below so you can work with me. First one, 6 minus 10 times 3. So we have to do multiplication first. So we have 10 times 3, so which is 30. So the answer is 6 minus 30. And we know that 30 minus 6 is 24. So therefore, 6 minus 30 is negative 24. Next one. So we need to do 72 divided by negative 8 first. So we have a positive and a negative. So therefore, the answer should be negative. So we got 72 divided by 8. So 8 go to 72 is 9 times. So negative 9. So the answer is 4 minus 9. And we know that 9 minus 4 is 5. So therefore, 4 minus 9 is negative 5. Next one. 14 divided by negative 7 plus 8 divided by negative 2. So we have to do division first. Okay, we have to do this first. So 14 divided by 7 is 2. So therefore, we have a positive number divided by negative number. So result should be negative. So this is negative 2. And this one here, a positive number times a negative number. The answer should be a negative number. And then 8 times 2 is 16. So we have negative 2 minus 16. And then you owe the bank $2, you owe another $16. That is, you owing all together is $18. So negative 18. There you go. Next one. You have 36 divided by negative 9 plus 4 times negative 2. So we do this division first. So 36 divided by negative 9. So we have a positive number divided by negative number. So answer should be negative first. 36 divided by 9 is 4 because 9 times 4 is 36 and now this one here we have a negative number and a positive number so 4 times negative 2 so it should give me a negative number and then 4 times 2 is 8 so now the answer is negative 4 minus 8 so now you owe the bank $4 you owe another $8 so all together you owe Twelve dollars. So it's just negative twelve. There you go. Next one. So we have negative twenty-five divided by negative five, and plus twenty-one divided by negative three. So we do division first. So twenty-five and a negative twenty-five and divided by negative five. So two negative together will give a positive answer. So we go twenty-five divided by five. So 5 times 5 is 25, right? So therefore, 25 divided by 5 is 5. And then we have a positive 21 divided by a negative 3. The answer should be a negative number. And then 21 divided by 3, because 3 times 7 is 21. So therefore, 21 divided by 3 is 7. So we have a 5 minus 7. So we know that 7 minus 5 is 2. So therefore, 5 minus 7 is negative 2. 96 divided by negative 3 minus 3 times negative 8. So we do division first. So 96 divided by negative 3. So the answer should be a negative. And now we just do 96 divided by 3. So how many lots of 3 go to 9? Is 3 times and then how many of 3 go to 6 is 2 times so the answer is 32 and then this one here we have a negative 3 times a negative 8 so 2 negative down together so it should result in a positive number so 3 times 8 is 24 so this means 24 so this is plus so the answer should give me negative 32 plus 24 so this is exactly the same as 24 minus 32. So 24 minus 32. So it's the same as 32 minus 24. But the answer should be negative. That's all. 
and 30 minus 24 is 6 and another 2 is 8 so 24 minus 32 is negative 8 now this one here we have negative 23 plus 4 times negative 6 and plus 4 divided by negative 7 so we we'll do multiplication division first okay this give me a negative number positive 4 times negative 6 so it should be negative 4 times 6 is 24 so negative 24 there and then we have a positive divided by negative number so 42 divided by negative 7 so the answer should be negative so 7 times 6 is 42 so therefore 42 divided by 7 is 6 so now I just rewrite this out so that will give me negative 23 minus 24 minus 6 which equal to now they're all negative okay so we just go 23 plus 24 plus 6 and results should be negative of course so 24 plus 6 is 30 30 plus 23 is 53 so negative 53 next one so we have 28 divided by 7 minus 8 plus 20 divided by negative 5 so we do dividing first okay so 28 divided by 7 is should give me 4 because 4 times 7 is 28 and 120 divided by negative 5 so answer should be negative so 120 divided by 5 5 go to 12 is 2 times remainder 2 so put 2 in between so it become 20 5 go to 20 is 4 so the answer is negative 24 so now I just rewrite this sentence so I put this 4 on top so I have space to write on so now this equal 4 I write this down so which is minus 8 and then minus 24 so now I just use 4 minus 8 is negative 4 so negative 4 minus 24 so minus 28 Now please stop the video and try this one yourself. First one, we have 12 plus 6 times negative 5. We just do 6 times negative 5 first. We have to do multiplication first, okay? So we have a positive number times a negative number, so it should result in a negative answer. So 6 times 5 is 30. So that is equal to 12 minus 30. And then 12 minus 30, so we know that 30 minus 12, so 30 minus 10 is 20, 20 minus 2 is 18. So the answer should give me negative 18. 8 plus 30 divided by minus 6. So we do division first. So 30 divided by negative 6 so we have a positive number divided by negative number so 30 divided by 6 is 5 so the answer is negative 5 and we have 8 minus 5 so 8 minus 5 is 3 next one 4 plus 4 times negative 7 minus 8 times negative 2 so we just do multiplication first. So we have a positive 4 times a negative 7. So the answer should be negative. 4 times 7 is 28. And then we have minus 8 times negative 2. So 2 negative times together should give me a positive answer. So 8 times 2 is 16. So we have 4 minus 28 plus 16. So now we just do 4 plus 16 which is 20 so it's equal to minus 28 plus 20 so we just do 28 minus 20 first so the answer is 8 but instead of 8 the result is negative 8 next one 12 plus 8 times negative 6 minus 3 times negative 7 so we do multiplication first so we have a positive number times a negative number, so the answer is negative. So 6 times 8 is 48. And we have a negative 3 times a negative 7. So it results in positive. So 3 times 7 is 
21. So the answer is 12 minus 48 plus 21. So now we just do 12 plus 21 first. It is easier, that's all. So that becomes 33 minus 48. So I just go 48 minus 33. So that 8 minus 3 is 5. 4 minus 3 is 1. So it's 15. So instead of 15, I get negative 15. Next one. So we have 2 times negative 8 plus 7 times negative 6 plus 46. So 2 times negative 8. So 2 times 8 is 16. So the answer is negative 16. And then we have a positive times a negative number. So the result in a negative. So 7 times 6 is 42. So we write this down. And 46, we just write it out. So I just write this sentence out. So that give me negative 16 minus 42. And then we add 46 down. And what we do is we just collect this slide term first. You owe the bank $16. You owe another 42. So all together you owe 58. So just write negative 58 and then plus 46. So which equal to? So what we have is negative 58 plus 46 is equal to 46 minus 58, right? So I just go 58 minus 46 first. So that give me 2, that give me 1. So which is negative 12 instead of 12. Next one. 36 divided by negative 9 minus 42 divided by negative 7. So we just do dividing first. So a positive number divided by negative number, so it should be a negative answer. So 36 divided by 9 is 4. And then negative 42 divided by negative 7, so it should result in a positive number. So 42 divided by 7 is 6. So the answer is negative 4 plus 6. So exactly the same as 6 minus 4. So the answer is 2. Second last one. Negative 2 times 3 plus 40 times negative 10 plus 2 times negative 7. So we do multiplication first, of course. So minus 2 times 3 is negative 6. And then 40 times negative 10, so negative 400. Okay? And then negative 7 times 2 is negative 14. So now I just rewrite this sentence out. So negative 6 minus 400 and then minus 14 so then you just like you owe the bank six dollars and then you owe a 400 and then you owe another 14 dollars so you just add all of them up so we go for 14 plus 6 is 20 and then you plus 400 so 420 but instead of positive it is a negative Last one, negative 8 divided by negative 4 minus 6 times 2 minus 11 times negative 5. So the answer is, we do dividing, we just do uh, dividing first and multiply. So we do minus 8 divided by negative 4, and negative 8 divided by negative 4, so which is 2. And then negative 8 times 2 is negative 16 if you like. And then a negative 11 times negative 5, so which is 55. So the result is positive. So now just try this out. 2 minus 16 plus 55. So what we get is 2 plus 55 is 57. So you got 57 minus 16. So that give me 1, 4. So the answer is? 41. Thank you so much for watching.